What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Everyone's having a great day today. So we're headed to the meet. First time with the GoPro at the meet tonight, but Sport Track's all ready to go as always. Last second, we weren't really planning on going. I had some school to take care of, but figured, figured I got everything I needed to get done. So we're gonna go out tonight and have some fun at the meet tonight. So let's get on the road and uh, I'll catch up to you guys when we get to the meet. All right guys, well we made it to Hayden's house. Hey guys. First time on the GoPro. What's up? So, me and Michael literally got here like at the same time. Oh gosh, I know. Oh no. <laughs> gosh, no, <laughs> why are you doing this to me? I'm oh, gonna no. get sick. <laughs> so, Michael's Speed 3 looking mighty fine like always. Yeah, right, it's not at all. <laughs> and I was mine. I didn't see the point. So like I said, we weren't really planning on going originally, but literally everything lined up perfectly for us to go. We should have just got met up there. Might as well Lightning at this point. The well, then Hayden wouldn't have, got, wouldn't have had a ride. Because oh, Hayden's not driving tonight. It's not. Hayden wouldn't have, Hayden would have had a wouldn't have had a ride. Uh, did not drive. Not Too much of a chance of rain tonight. <laughs> did you get my good good? What? Did you get my good good out of your fridge? No, it was blocked. Of course not. I'd have to tear down the garage. I was running late. They weren't. Yeah, it was. I love that. There's no such thing as late. <laughs> we made it ten minutes to spare. Dude, yeah. I, literally, I knew it was you. I knew it was you who got behind me because I saw the fog lights. I'm like, only Michael would put LEDs all the way around on a car. <laughs> but facts. I don't like that yellow garbage. Oh my god. Michael said I loved off, let out some good pops. <laughs> but we're gonna head on out to the meets and uh, I'll just catch up to you guys when we get there because that's where the fun's actually gonna ensue. All right, so we made it to the meets. Pretty crowded out here tonight. Nothing too crazy tonight. Lots of trucks. Andrew's here with the RS. We got Michael and Hayden in the Speed 3. How was y'all's ride? <laughs> Were his seats 10 times more comfortable than mine? Oh. Were his seats more comfortable than mine? Is that not hard to do? Oh, there's Vega. The other Speed 3 is in the house. I'm going to grab all my stuff and hop on out of here. That thing actually sounds real good. That's going to be a tight fit. <laughs> what y'all get from Taco Ding Dong? What y'all get from Taco Ding Dong? Oh. How many of those can you get for the price of a Speed 3? Do you want to know? It's in the math. Oh, okay. <laughs> y'all thought y'all could get rid of me. <laughs> so, Michael Hayden finishing up their taco ding dong while we're here at the meet. Oh, this thing's huge. That thing's, what in the world is that? Holy what in the world is that? Five layer beef burrito. That looks massive. It looks like a 10 layer beef burrito. I wish I had that much size. Good. <laughs> Speed 3 is looking sweet. <laughs> I just had a really loud Mustang coming in. I don't, I'm short, so this is kind of a short <laughs> Oh, I know that sound anywhere. Sounds like a car I've got before. Damn. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Try me. Anytime. Anytime. Not with, these, not with this car and your other one. That's game. Do you think even with my electric radiator fans, whenever I do that, would be like I, I could even be on your bumper? It'll be faster. <laughs> I can't get on your bumper though, It'll at least. Be faster. <laughs> How faster? Very? About five more pounds. <laughs> Do you think at least ten? At least ten? More than likely more. Have That's some more. wishful thinking. <laughs> wishful thinking. You watch Ginger Masters? Huh? You watch Ginger Masters? On the I've heard. I think I've heard of it. They did a. Uh, oh! 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 oh Sounds like it's about to blow. Metal on metal, boy, stop. spark plug is short now. I know that, or something's about to blow in that thing. That's a big cam. No, he's just hitting the fucking gas. Oh, that's a really big cam, or that's him hitting the gas. That is definitely a gas pedal mod. That is a gas pedal mod. You just plug it in line. How would you rate that Jeep, Michael? 10 out of 10, dude. Woodbye. 
<laughs> I'd buy that exact one too. Dude, I love the custom <laughs> sounds. <laughs> you gonna share us a little bit? Hell no, look at the upgrades. <laughs> Yes, sir. Two Jennies. BK2 and a BK1. Which one, Hayden? Which one you having? BK2. BK1 or BK2? Is that the Yeah. Hey, you got a ski pack. Quite literally, because it's white. It's like your mom's car, but the ski pack version. Really clean NA rolling in on some uh, horse boats. Interesting. They got a Del Sol. All right, what should my next, like my first big Honda build be? Del Sol or RSX? Or, or G37? Gosh, that cam though. Oh, that thing's got like a four-way stroker in that thing on stock exhaust. <laughs> GT350, 370Z, this boat. Nice. Really? You get two rolling back up. What time is the 11? GT350 rolling back in. That looks so good. I wish I had one. That fire has <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, shit. Hate you so much, Marcus. What? Loud Mustang with the ghost cam rolling out. Oh, that Jeep again. Oh, no. That hurts my soul. <laughs> That sounds like it's about to blow, dude. Good gosh. <laughs> so we found this really nice NA. Really, really clean NA. But this color looks very like Baltic blueish. So I don't know, maybe it's been re-sprayed Baltic or this was actually a color that came on the car. Do you what? No, I wish. <laughs> I could, oh, it's supercharged. Hey, do you see this? Yeah. It's got a blower on it. Yeah, it's got a Jackson supercharged. Yeah, wow, I'll just like skip completely over that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Maybe another car might give the SK a little bit of run? I don't want to run it. Nah, they're not, <laughs> they're not that fast. Ooh, hold up. Oh, yeah, they're not that fast, yeah. Favorite British car, it's the Vantage. Super I'm not sure. It's like linear power. Yeah. Then, of course, we got the GT350. Oh, it's got a Cummins. You can't hear. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. See, I've had three Miatas and I've always had a Miata. Oh, he's doing that. There we go. Oh, start recording. Perfect. Got a really nice S550 rolling out. Can hardly nice. see it. This camera's a lot farther like view. Oh, oh Azura's there's here the too. Good there's the, the bad boy. I wonder if Nemesis brought his out today. We brought the truck. Oh, he did bring it out. Check that out. All three Mustangs are out and about. Oh, you taking a look at the 350? Dream Mustang status. Ooh. Not even a rock chip on this thing. Is this an R? No, it's got back seats. It's got back seats too. R's don't have back seats? Yeah, R's don't have back seats or uh, radios or air conditioning. Fuck yeah, boy. No air conditioning. I think so. No, fuck no air conditioning. I'm out then. I found one for 90 grand a couple years ago, an R. Like, they yep. look black, but when the light hits it. Yeah, they do. That's nice. It's such a nice car. The 350 bumper is like a must. It's a must have for any Mustang in general from this generation. I wonder if this one will burn down like Adam and so Louise dirty, did. I'm sorry. No, that's uh, good. Worry, this no. thing looks sweet. Thank you. Oh, man, that's awesome. Appreciate it. Do you have anything done to it? Is it just bone stock? Um, I got oil, oil cans, cans, and I have a resonator delete on it. Okay. So it's out pretty well. Yeah. Oh, man. They don't. Wow. That's so cool. It'll get me in trouble here a while. I feel that. Especially at like eight grand. Dude. <laughs> I was still bewildered when they first announced that because you know we, you know he comes from Hondas and I learned Hondas is like my primary thing, a high revving. And then this comes out and I'm like, that's an American car revving that high? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's so it's stupid. Like, it, it breaks logic. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I don't. I, I really listen to music. Yeah, why would you? 
like I, like, it's, like it's literally like I had, I had the back seats folded down that way you can it resonate better through like the truck right. and stuff. Yeah. And then I mean like windows down and it's just it's stupid, stupid lighting, especially with the resonator delete on it. Like I said, it's the GT three fifty Rs they come with the resonator delete already. They're shut yeah. out. Now having that, it's, it's like it's loud. Like, like, I, I couldn't imagine being any louder. Like, you can make it louder. Like, yeah. Like you know, free flow cats. Get some courses and some long tubes. Right, exactly. <laughs> long tubes on it. I mean, yeah, but they're I don't all the way down there. You can still get it. There's some loud cars. It's obnoxious about that point. Like, this is just, <laughs> but like I said, this is, it's, I've, I've heard of other, a couple other GT350s, and they've got resident elites and a couple of ours, and I don't know, I don't know if it's just because those are just Gen 1 motors and this being a Gen 2, because it's a 2019. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that had something to do with it, but it's just got, it's got a different, like, a different note. Like yeah. It's still that flat plane, you know, note, but it's just got a different kind of. Bit more refinement. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't quite explain. Like, I've been thinking of like a tag. I want to get a tag for it. I know it's kind of corny, but I was going down Barrett Parkway, like right there at the uh, underpass at like 75. And I was a second, and like, or I was a third, and I red matched now a second at like six grand. I just tacked it up real quick, and it literally sounded like. It almost sounded like a T-Rex just yelling. Like, I'm not even Yeah. It's just like, it, I mean, like, that's what my girlfriend was talking about. She was like, it sounded like a dinosaur. It was just, <laughs> it was insane. And then, like I said, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was at Dixie Speedway, and I was just sitting in line, and this guy was, like, back up on me. So instead of honking my horn, I just revved it up a little bit. I did one little rev, and then, like, yeah. two minutes later, we had a guy, I had a crowd of, like, 20 people around me just wanting me to just to keep it. <laughs> that's what I do, too. So, yeah. I don't have a horn, so that's probably Yeah, it's definitely... <laughs> What the Mustangs are, I mean, I've been wanting one for a while, but I really wanted to keep the three fifty just because of the flat plane. Yeah, okay. It's smooth. Right. That, and then the way that it handles payments on these. They're actually they're actually cheaper than you think they are. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah these are these, I don't ever yeah. want to make payments like, well, on a car. That's the only thing that's keeping me from buying something like yeah. this. Like, 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 had a fun time. Good getting to see everybody again, as always, and getting to hang out with the guys, of course. So, Andrew's RS was back out and about after a couple weeks hiatus, and we got my truck out here today. Um, was thinking about doing the debatch process before we actually get started getting this thing ready for its vinyl wrap, but I just didn't get around to it today. So, that'll probably be a future video either this week or the week after, as we are planning on getting started on the body work pretty soon. So, um, a couple things that are going to be changing with that is we're actually me putting the roof rack back on. Um, I've been having some water leak issues for quite a while. Thought it was a third brake light, but it turns out it's my fault because I took the roof rack off and since we didn't put silicone on the bolts, it got water in it and ruined the headliner. So partially that, and my dad did say that seal was ruined, but it's also partially my fault for not properly sealing up those holes all this time. Um, but either way, the truck is about as close to ready as it'll get for the wrap once i can get all the body work done and uh not really a lot of it too i mean we gotta take the badges off which is gonna suck and having to say goodbye to those and of course the little sport front badge which i think i was the very first gen one to do this um i've seen a few are doing it now which is pretty cool but i think i was probably the first one to do that um and then uh, we will we'll be getting started i mean like i said outside of putting the roof rat back on the only body work we'll have to do is taking care of this with some bondo taking care of this with some bondo clear coating and then getting the tailgate fixed up as well as probably a couple spots on the driver's door as well which is pretty roughed up as you guys can see here so really not a lot left to do but with all that said guys hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe for more content coming soon on the channel whether it be car meat stuff or this thing the old sport track stuff that'll be coming here in the next little while so until then guys hope you all enjoyed i'll see you guys next time have a good one everyone